Hi everyone, my name is Nofar from SAP Business One, Product Management Team. In this video, I will show you how Business One Web Client can be extended with a Fiori app. The source code and the how to guide to this project will be available in our online help, so you can learn from it and try it. In the example, we will add the ability to view the service call object. This application is created by a wizard, so most of the coding is generated automatically. First, let's look at the end result. I will go to the extension tab. Here you can find all the extensions that exist. And I will choose the service call application. So here you can see all the service call in a list view. The list view was generated by the wizard. We only added some columns and made some UI changes. Let's see the detail view. This page was added automatically and we added most of the fields in it. We are using here a web client view API that provides links to object. In this case, you can see it in the business partner field and in the item. This enables us to navigate from our extension into Business One Web Client object. Let's try to click one of them. So here you can see the specific record of this business partner. And let's open the item. And this is the specific item that we choose. Now let's see how the extension was built. First, let's go to the Visual Studio Code and start the wizard. Let's create the extension. Click Control Shift P and select Fury Application Generator. In the application type, select SAP UI5 Freestyle and then Worklist Application, and click Next. Select the data source to be OData Service, fill in the service layer URL, and enter the company, the username, and the password. Click the Login button. If the login will success, you can click the Next button. In the entity selection, select the service call. And in the object key, choose service call ID and fill in the rest of the fields. And again, click next. Fill in the project attributes, click on finish and the project will be created. After the project is created, you can open the terminal and run the project locally. As you can see, it's a simple Fury standalone application. Now let's see how we add additional functionality to our project. Let's go back to the Visual Studio Code. I did two main changes. The first one is in the Worklist View XML file that contains the layout of the list view. Here you can see the definition of the columns that we added and the header text for them. The second change is in the Object View XML file that contains the layout of the detail view. You can see that I added some fields and for business partner code and for item code, we have a link press function. Let's find this function in the object control JS. Here is the function that navigates you to the desired view API. Let's go back to the service call application. 
After the package and deployment process, the application is embedded into the web client, including the changes, like we show in the beginning. Thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed the video.